He says no. Um, no, but you can tell them where I'll be Thursday. Huh? You can tell them where I'll be Thursday. Where are you going to be Thursday? At Bayview. Where are you going to be tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> finishing a house. Oh, moving. I'm sure I'll have some honeydew list as long as a rap sheet. <laughs> Thursday's the last day. Want to hold them? Drago's my lizard. I bet you, I bet you anything. She's, she's still looking for a hey, What are you doing? The girlfriend broke off with you. I'm he sorry. He is so cool. Oh, you're going to come out and talk to me? Oh my gosh. She, she followed Doctor me. Doctor asked you to look behind you. And then. <laughs> See you later, girl. Do, do, do. Don't forget your recheck. Spike and Sasprazilla. They got a thing. Wait, what's the wedding? Going on. No, really what's happening to her, it's really kind of a rare thing. I've been 20 years, I don't get a chance to chew uh, treat fungal disease and tortoises very much. <laughs> <She> sounds... <laughs> See, he's like really, he was really skinny. He was. No, he's like still skinny, so she can see still feel his body. Yeah, he's like still skinny. Yeah, he was still skinny. Yeah, he was still skinny. Yeah, he was still skinny. <laughs> oh, the bloody aftermath of of a dead strawberry. Oh, it's like it killed it. Raw. Yeah, she did kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a cooked crawfish head. Ooh, it could be the spices. You think? Well, a raw crawfish head would be better. Oh, the the horror. Ah. She's like um that person. <laughs> 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 Okay, here is our uh, infamous Sasprazilla. Here's the good news, she doesn't stink, so the antibiotic shots are obviously doing its job. The bad news is, and we did not know this before, is that some of this infection is not just bacterial, it's fungal. How's that for Oh, it's like a mushroom. <laughs> no, 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 not that. So the good news is you guys are doing a really good job and part of the treatment that you're using, actually that, that soap that we used to clean up this area is antifungal and antibacterial. Yeah, there for a while. She was, I mean, she was eating everything. Yeah, she was eating my shrimp. We're going to get her there again. Shrimp. She was eating crawfish heads, shrimp, um, strawberries, hey, come on. worms. Well, no, okay, the worms so that we got her, she'll sit on them until she suffocates them. Okay. And then she'll eat them. She's saving them for later. Or she'll I actually, I have like a video spaghetti. of her eating a crawfish head. Okay. <clears throat> there. Yep. This is why That's I have a guinea pig. Well, it smells a whole lot better than it did. What do you mean? How do you feel about this tortoise? I don't like her. Why do you have to be such a turtle hater? I'm not. I just don't like her. She's always trying to get to me. <laughs> she doesn't like her Like, claws. always. Okay, here's Sasprazilla. She's been sedated. Um, this might be a cancer. It's actually been getting bigger despite all our efforts in trying to control the infection. Um, you can actually see here, oops, beneath that area there, peeling the skin back and all this is actually a pretty hard tissue. Um, I haven't given up yet, but this is, a, this is a mass and it goes completely around the neck. We're probably gonna lose her in the process, but we're trying. All right, that's what it looks like for now. Okay, um, this is Sass Brazilla. Um, she has been a patient now for a while, and I've seen her several times for that piece of flesh hanging up the side of her neck there. Um, we have treated it uh, both as a bacterial infection and a fungal infection. Um, cytologies have shown it was both, but it just seems to have not regressed in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, it's just getting worse. So, um, during one of our visits, the uh, clients that had brought her in eventually decided they wanted me to keep her. 
So for the past few weeks, I have been trying to make time to go into surgery or do something with her. And actually, I've made the time several times, but unfortunately, because of the anatomy over here with the subcarapacial vein, I have not been able to sedate this turtle, and I have tried a half a dozen times. With that in mind, um, today I decided to give it one more try, and I still could, get, could, not, so could not get the subcarapacial vein, and I couldn't get a hold of the tail vein before either, and that's twice I've tried that one. So I actually went and tried for a cephalic. Um, and today I was able to get cephalic, and she has been sedated, and I have been uh, doing the surgery now for a while. I've probably been in surgery with this girl for about 45 minutes to an hour, if not longer. Um, and I'm just guessing by the number of songs that I've been listening to while this was happening. Um, this is the mass, or whatever it is. Um, it is a harder, completely different tissue um, than the other tissues that are in and around the neck. In 20-something uh, years of treating this species, actually about 30 years of treating this species, I've never seen anything like this before and just never had one not respond to any treatments or things that we've tried. So there's a good chance this is a tumor. Um, anyway, we've got a sample. And we're going to send that sample to the laboratory to have it tested. And this might be the first time ever that uh, cancer has been diagnosed in this species before. It's kind of hard to say. Um, or we may find out this is just some kind of death-defying infection. So anyway, the good news is that lump, that lump is gone and, you know, I was able to save and, and salvage some skin enough to close that. Our girl here can actually push her head into the shell. I've tested it once or twice. But the swelling beneath it is basically just a soft edema. You can see how soft that is. So I'm hoping that now that this large mass is gone and not restricting the jugulars on both sides, um, that, that's, that swelling will be able to go down and turn back into normal. If not, then that'll be a, uh, a chin reduction surgery for a later date. Um, anyway, she's waking up. Uh, she's realizing that there's uh, some pain and some inflammation in those areas. So let me, uh, let me go and address some of that pain and see if I get her feeling better. The good news is she survived this. She did lose a lot of blood, um, but she's still with us. So to make the long story short, I've now adopted her. I have another tortoise. Uh, this is uh, Spike's girlfriend, or Mr. Wiggle's girlfriend. Uh, we've been making dates and play dates with this girl for a while, but because we were afraid of anything she might be carrying that could get to him, we've not let them meet. They've just been seeing each other through cages and, and, and across floors and that type of thing. But anyway, my point is, is we've now gotten that mass off or whatever that piece of tissue is right there, and she has survived the procedure. She's doing fine at this point in time. Um, I don't really think she lost too much blood, but she lost more than I wanted to. Um, that's still the decent sized pile right there. Uh, and my IV techniques and tortoises has not failed me, but just uh, something about her anatomy in that area right there, the subcarapacial vein, has made it impossible to get her down that way. But anyway, I got her cephalic, and all is good at this point in time. So, that'll be set off tomorrow, and we will figure out what's going on with this girl, and it'll be really cool. All right, later.